go ahead and uh, adjust the party a bit here. Because we need... Well, we effectively need someone with best luck. But at the same time, not necessary right away. But I do want... I do want it because I'm going to need to steal something, so... I'm just talking to you, as well as Fengalon. Okay. And, yep, the extra Elven Boots. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There we go. Go ahead and... I'll just fly over to it. That'll make it easier to get to the spot after that. And welcome to the good luck zone. If it'll let me in. <laughs> so what we have here... Securely locked. Looks like a special key is needed. Well, the way to get it is we actually have to steal it from an enemy. So, let's make sure that... The question is, are we not able to surprise it? If that's the case, I will have to remove the pair of Elven boots. Yeah, no prompt even with the sandals equipped. Let's take care of that. And we don't have... I don't want the... We don't have the accessory I really want to get from Brad just yet. But that's, uh, that's after one of the super bosses. Oh, there we go. So we're looking for an enemy called a Gulpa. Yep, didn't surprise it, so... Wait for that. Okay, excellent. This one, this one, yeah, that's the only one. And since Soka is fastest, the nice thing is we only need to steal one of these. They have uh, 560 HP. And we just need to steal one of these secret keys. And the funny thing is, Brad is now faster than Ashley. It's crazy. Okay, easy peasy fight. And the rest of this is very straightforward and simple, so no complaints. Right. Get equipped uh, back with the Elven Boots. We don't need to do any more fighting in here. This place is very straightforward. And did I... I did organize, right? Okay, see, secret key. I'm going to put Lilk on point, because she needs to be the one to solve quote-unquote, solve the last puzzle. That should be the last crest in the game. If there's one more in the final dungeon, that's just the case, but... I'm pretty sure they wouldn't do that to us. Yeah, the secret key does not disappear. It's like the magical, magical key from Zelda 1. And 2, technically. We're going to the right room here. And there is Ashley's headgear that I was talking about. Very nice. Very nice increase. And the third chest is on the left door. Yeah, very easy mini, mini guardian dungeon, which of course this is what it is. So at, amulet, what does that do? I think that increases luck by two levels. Yep, excellent. Useful for, of course, stealing and learning red skills for Marvel, but at the same time, we got most of them already. And for this final puzzle, if you can even really call it that, you just have to have someone with best luck look at this. Trying one's luck is one way. If you're so sure about your luck, try asking the door about it. Yep, just best luck and we're good. And hey, hi! I'm a nice guy, Chapapanga, the guardian of luck. If it's about luck, leave it to me. Chapapanga, the only guardian not from the first game in this one. Even when you have power without luck, it will turn up uh, okay. With some luck, you'll be fine. So Chapapanga is the key to getting the Necromonicon item. Those enemies will appear on the island with the Lost Guardian, or with the Lost Garden, as well as on the path towards the final dungeon, so randomizer. So if Tim summons Chapapanga and he kills the enemy, that's a guaranteed item drop. So I will just take care of that off camera because the the uh, encounter rate against those guys is, is fairly rare. Go ahead and take a look at... So, Randomizer randomly invokes original powers. 
So it's basically potentially free usage of any of these without worrying about uh, FP. So, okay, Bold Lance, Guardian non X single from Justine, Gela, and Upsluck by one in battle all. So, kind of not worth it, but I will be unlocking it just for completion's sake. We got one more optional Guardian to get, and thankfully we can now actually get it. Go ahead and just get out of here. Since we don't have to worry about any encounters, don't want to run off the edge. I mean, don't get tormented enough in this game. I don't need to throw her around um, into the void either. And we're out. And let's go ahead and just hop onto Lombardia. That's the fastest way to get to where we're going. So, those promised catacombs that I unlocked but could not get into. We now have access to it thanks to Tim's Mist Cloak. And it will be the final optional Guardian dungeon, as well as giving Maribel her second tool and allowing us access to get her third tool right away, which will be what allows us to fight the super bosses. However, I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to go into the final dungeon and go up to the final save point right before the final boss and do what I did in the first game. Get all the way up to there, get the equipment and treasure in there, then double back to fight the super bosses, and then return to fight the final boss. Anyhow, I did fight a few of these guys because I got one of Mariville's red skills from them. So I'll take a couple battles just to showcase new enemies. And of course we also need Mariville's Electel to actually do anything else in here. So she will be on point. This is basically her dungeon, even though it is also a guardian dungeon. Alright, who we got here? Okay, so my Kale and Hope Diamond. So my Kale is an interesting enemy. It will change form after a couple of battles. The Hope Diamonds have 600 HP or weak to light. So you know what? Uh, let's just go ahead and let this shift happen. Uh, there are also Scarecrows in here, which we fought in another another dungeon. And the final one, Aga Wagdent, I'll probably not see. Okay, we'll transform, that was quick. So the Mykale turns into another Mykale, just kind of a, a female version. This one has 1500 HP, can drop mini carrots. The male Mykales are actually worth fighting more, because they have less HP and can drop lucky cards. But I fought one of them off camera, got them in the album. Not so for that one, so there we go. But the female ones get more experience, so it's a give, give or take. However, if you're grinding against enemies in here, you really shouldn't be. Alright, now the fun begins. Go ahead and, uh, well, you're not Tim. You're, you're not Puka. Ebony Shade, so that is uh, actually armor for Mariville, but we already have her best armor found in the Thunderland Cage. Wind-up key. Wind-up key is a tool used by Mariville. Press the square button to have the wind-up key thrown spring coiled out in front of you. If you fix the wind-up key to certain blocks, you'll see a variety of results. So, we've seen a block like this before. Curiouser and curiouser. And that just rotates the platforms, but there's more fun to be had later on. So, oh boy, yep. Alright, and just kind of line up behind us. Yeah, we have to follow the path and pay close attention. This is probably the worst room in the dungeon. And off we go, yep. This... Made to, that, yeah, the upside is if you mess up, you don't go all the way back to the beginning, so that's, that's nice of the game to go at least that far. Okay, so it's basically one block away from him, and then one block away from the end. Oh, not quite. Let's try a different angle here. All 
Okay, so right there. And last one's easiest. Excellent. Trying to get a point of reference from this spot is not easy. Five. Five. Oh, so close. Okay, it's three, not two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah, cause I can, yeah, I can just get up right, right next to it. Silly me. Now watch, I'm gonna miss the five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I think I think that's the worst spot because it goes all the way across that way. Yeah, it looks like it's a straight shot to the end, so yep. Oh, but yeah. Now, could you light up the path for me, please? Nope, not gonna be that nice. Okay, never mind, that's probably the last press in the game. Forgot about that one. Yeah, another mecha boost up, increased Mario Bill's attack power by 21. Nice, nice. And let's make sure I'm. On route to get everything. I can tell we want to. Open this duplicator door. This might be the last one we have to use too, so I have more than I ever needed by ceiling. And hey! That is our last one. Time turns, passing on, flowing endlessly, then ceases. Dan Dyram's Eternal Spiral, the Guardian of Time. But time doesn't flow equally. If in limited time you burn up your life, I must seek justice. So that is the fifth and final Gold Guardian, as well as Guardian in the game. Very nice increase in sorcery. And so, move canceler. So that's actually helpful because Marvel has a red skill that's like that. So having two people be able to use that, quite handy. Yep, Castles moves on that turn, hopefully from the enemy and not us. And the final one, speed down. So drops both breath and carry values of group. That's actually quite handy. Unfortunately, it is expensive, but it's now something both Tim and Lilith can do. These coffins. There are no tricks, looks like it's a plain old coffin. The inside looks to be empty. No response, it's just a corpse. Oh, wait, wrong game. This is an expensive and solidly built coffin, but there's no evidence it's being used. Similar coffins are lined up all around. Looks like this place is an underground graveyard, but they're not being used. Don't need to take any more fights in here. Ooh, new music. Father. Mother. What is it, Marvel? It, it, it's nothing. A little more insight into her character, perhaps? Why? Why am I all alone? Yes, I'm always alone. I am one of the proud Crimson Nobles, the people chosen to live for eternity. But my tribe no longer exists. Why am I the only one still alive? If I had died with the rest of my tribe, I wouldn't be suffering. Anastasia was my last friend. Hundreds of years have passed since I saw her. Aside from goodbyes being too hard. My life is eternal. People won't do. People get old and die. I've seen many births and many deaths. I no longer have friends in this world. 
That's why I don't need friends. That's my decision. But now, there are many people who need me. So, I've decided. I will join these people who are living now for a little while. I know I'll have to say goodbye someday, but I'll have no regrets. That's what I hope for. And believe it or not, uh, we do not get any force abilities for her after that. Marvel, were you crying? What are you saying? I am no weakling. Well, we finished here. Time to move on. Let's go. Phil Guy doesn't have much time left. Well, that set is right outside. Thank you.